everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I'm in pain, I've been shot. <laughs> that is because today is day eight of my 31 days Halloween and I'm showing you how to make like, bullet wounds, cuts, scars, whatever you are planning to use for your costume this Halloween. I know there is a ton of videos like this on YouTube, everyone showing you how to use liquid latex and spirit gum and even how to do these things without those products but I feel like it wouldn't be my 31 days of Halloween without doing at least a basic tutorial on how to do these things especially as some of these will feature in my upcoming videos. So the first look I'm going to show you is how to create this bullet wound type thing. Um, I'm going for I've just been shot in the head. My fake blood was a little bit out of control today. I don't really know what's happened here. Um, and as you can see it's kind of set here so um, if I was going to a party it would probably need a top up but I'm also going to be showing you how to create a fake cut or a scar I'm not really feeling this fake blood it's very fake um, it's like too bright I wish it was a darker red but this was all I had access to at the moment so that is that so the good thing about this is that you can pop these anywhere on your body um, and yeah they're very simple to do, they look like they would take a lot of time and a lot of effort and some of them, believe me, they do, but some of these you can do pretty quick um, and they're pretty effective. I always wear these types of things at work for Halloween and um, I scare a lot of the customers. <laughs> so without further ado, if you would like to know how to create a fake bullet wound or a scar, then keep watching. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to show you how to make the bullet wound on the forehead. Um, so you need to make sure you start with clear skin, no foundation, no primer, nothing. It just needs to be moisturised and that is all. Also, huge apologies for my skin. I'm clearly having a breakout. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you what you guys need for this look. So the first thing you're going to need is some kind of liquid latex. doesn't have to be a particular brand, just whatever you have access to. You're going to need some sponges that you don't mind ruining, so I don't recommend using a beauty blender or something because you would have to throw it away after the use. You're going to need some tissue paper or toilet roll. Um, sorry for the noise, pumpkin's crazy. Um, and what you need to do is if you've got anything more than one ply, you're going to need to separate it. It's fairly easy. Just get the corner and pull. Um, you're just going to need a couple of thin little ripped up pieces and one longer thin piece. You're also going to need the foundation of your choice and some kind of tool to apply it with. Then the minimum you're going to need is a black face paint and a red face paint. Um, I'm not sure if these are cruelty cool free but these are the only face paints that I have. You're going to need a brush to apply the face paint with and you're going to need at the very least one red eyeshadow I'd recommend several so that you can get the blended look that you need so I'm going to begin by taking my liquid latex and I'm going to be dabbing it on wherever I want my bullet wound so for me I'm doing it in the center of my head I'm going to be taking one of my thin pieces and I'm going to be sticking that to my head Then using your sponge, make sure you stick down the edges of the piece of tissue. My tissue's already started ripping, but I think it's going to give a kind of cool effect, so let's hope that that looks good. While it's drying, um, you then need to take the uh, long strip and roll it into a thin sausage shape, like so. You then need to form it into a circle shape of the size that you want your bullet hole and don't forget to um, stick it together using the liquid latex. One little circle. Okay so once you feel that your liquid latex is set you can then take another layer of liquid latex and dab it on where you want your circle. I'm then going to use some liquid latex and again stick down the edge of my bullet hole so wait for that to dry okay once you're satisfied that the liquid latex is dry you can then go ahead and pop whatever foundation you're using over it just to blend it in a little better with your skin 
tissue paper doesn't blend in too well with the skin at this stage but it's okay because we're going to be covering it in face paint and so on. The next step is to start shading the wound and I'm going to be taking a red eyeshadow because this is the easiest thing to work with for me. I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to begin by um, adding red to my bullet hole. So you want the deepest colour to be in the centre of the bullet hole and then the colour needs to diffuse as you get further and further out. So I'm going to start off with a lot of product on the inside of the bullet wound. slowly blend it as I get further out. I to set my foundation with powder. Make sure you set your foundation with powder. I was wondering why this was looking kind of weird. Okay so as you can see that's like the most basic bit of colour added. So I'm going to go in with my face paint and I'm going to start off by taking my red shade and so I'm going to paint this raised ring section all red and add ooh, a lot of red into the center and as you can see some bits will kind of lift up so make sure you get those bits red as well. I rinse my brush off and I've got some black on my brush and I'm going to be focusing that on the center of the wound. Take it past the raised portion of the wound. Next up, I'm going to be taking this palette here. Um, I've talked about this in my palette collection video. It's literally just a cheap palette with like a bajillion shades in. Um, I don't know whether this is cruelty free or not. I wouldn't have a clue, but I would advise you to find a cruelty free alternative. Um, I'm going to be taking this kind of selection of reds and browns here. And so I'm just going to be blending using a variety of colors, using darker colors towards the inner portion and blending it out. taking some fake blood again you can use any brand um, that you wish I'm going to begin by popping loads in the center of the wound I'm going to dab some around the edge of the wound as well so it's bled out a little bit you can kind of just go as crazy as you want with this blood and make it as gory as you wish then you can add um, my favourite part which is get quite a lot and drip it, hopefully, to help your face to direct the blood flow how you desire. That is pretty much it for look one. For look two, I'm going to be showing you how to create a cut or a wound. Um, you can do this anywhere on your body. It'd be really cool to do it across your throat, like your throat's been slit. You can do it down the center of your face. You can do it arms, legs, literally anywhere. But just be careful wherever you apply liquid latex, you should not apply it over hair because as you remove the liquid latex piece, you'll also remove whatever hair is underneath. So I'm going to be showing you this on my arm as it's going to be the easiest way for me to do so. I would like to show you doing it on my throat, but I don't know how well I'm going to be able to feel myself doing that. So, um, you're going to start off by layering up liquid latex wherever you want to create your scar or your wound. Start off with a fairly big layer and then you just have to sit and wait for that to dry. Once you're happy the layer's dry, you're then going to add another layer. You're just gonna keep doing this until um, you've built up enough um, to play with. Okay, so once you feel that your liquid latex piece has dried, you can but see that there's like a bit of something on my arm, but it's not very visible. You need to take some scissors um, or any tool that you can use to cut down where your scar or your cut's going to be. Please, please, please be super careful when using sharp objects around your skin. Um, I don't know, I'm not to blame <laughs> if you injure yourself, for, you know, through using these methods. Let me just put that out there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut 
from the start of where we did our little uh, liquid latex piece and I'm just going to cut down in a line. You can see there is a, it just looks like two weird lines on my arm, but that is the layers of latex and I'm just slightly pulling those apart so we've got some weird like flaps. Okay, so this is the basis of our cut and as you can see where you've not used any toilet paper or toilet roll tissue paper whatever you call it um, it's much more realistic looking and you haven't got loads of weird um, layers and it's so easy to cover so what I'm going to do is again take my foundation and I'm just going to cover it just to doubly make sure that everything is fully blended into the skin you can see that just blends in so much better than the toilet paper. I'm then going to set that with a powder Again, shading my wound and I'm going to be taking a red eyeshadow again. Again using the same technique of keeping it darker in the centre of the cut and blending it out. Taking the face paints again. right in underneath where the um, the flaps or the edges are so that it looks more realistic. Putting a bit of red face paint on there for a bit of dimension. And then again for the final part which is the fake blood. Do the cotton bud with this um, as they're disposable you can just get rid of them straight away and you don't have to stain your fingers or clothing or anything with fake blood. Again, you can be as gory as you like with this. That is your finished product. I have found this video somewhat useful. I always enjoy playing around with effects makeup. Um, yeah, like I said, I know there's a ton of these videos out there, but if you managed to stay to the end, then thank you so much for taking the time to watch the content that I'm making for you guys. Um, so that concludes today's video. That is everything I wanted to show you. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video because it may be featuring one of these special effects things. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more spooky content.